If you have one there, I'm very grateful to uh, Adam for all the work that he's put into this beforehand. Um, I will be putting um, some extra prayers and readings into the service itself. And at one point, um, Alison will read a poem to us written by someone who served in Afghanistan. We meet and we pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Let's pray together that opening prayer if we are able to see a copy of the service. Pray with me, please. Stir up your power, O God, and come among us. Heal our wounds, calm our fears, and give us peace. Amen. And some words of Jesus. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up to the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad. For your reward is great in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. So we thank God for his word to us. And I read now a piece from one of the very early remembrance services, even before the Second World War. Written in remembrance of those who died in the First World War. Let us remember the kindness of God and his favor to us in our time of need. Let us remember the courage, devotion to duty, and the self-sacrifice of the men and women in our armed forces, the toil, endurance, and suffering of those who were not in uniform, the support of those who sent us help from afar or came and stood by our side. Let us remember those who were wounded in the fight, those who perished in air raids at home, those who fell in battle and are buried at sea, or in some corner of a foreign field, and especially those whom we have known and loved, whose place is forever in our hearts. Let us remember those who were our enemies, whose homes and hearts are as bereft as ours, whose dead lie also in a living tomb of everlasting remembrance. Let us remember those who came back, those whose lives still bear the scars of war, those who lost sight or limbs or reason, those who lost their faith in God and hope for humanity. Let us remember the continuing grace of God, whose love holds all souls in life, and to whom none is dead, but all are alive forever.
So we have our act of remembrance. Let us remember before God and commend to his sure keeping those who have died for their country in conflict, those whom we knew and whose memory we treasure, and all who have lived and died in the service of humanity. <coughs> They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will we remember, will remember, remember them. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow we gave our today. Could we have the laying of the wreaths now, please?
Remember, Lord, your people who cry to you in their grief. Remember the fallen in battle and the innocents who have died. Remember your power to heal and save. Alison's going to read a poem to us now. Thank you. I read this poem in memory of all those lost in the war in Afghanistan and all those still suffering today with their memories of losing their friends and brothers. The poem is called Sunset Vigil and it is wrote by a Sergeant Andy McFarlane in 2009 who fought in Afghanistan. The news is spread far and wide. Another comrade has sadly died. A sunset vigil upon the sand as a soldier leaves this foreign land. We stand alone and yet as one in the fading light of a setting sun. We've all gathered to say goodbye to our fallen comrade who set to fly. The eulogy reads about his life, sometimes with words from Pallas or wife. We all know when the CO's done what kind of soldier he'll become. The Padre then calls us to pray. The bugler has the last post to play. The cannon roars and belches flame. We will record with pride their name. A minute's silence stood in place as tears rolled down the hardest face. Deafening silence fills the air with each of us in a personal prayer. Revel sounds and the parade is done, the heroes remembered, forgotten by none. He leaves to start the journey back in a coffin draped in the Union Jack. So with that poem in mind, we pray for our armed forces. Almighty God, stretch forth your mighty arm to strengthen and protect our armed forces. Grant that meeting danger with courage and all occasions with discipline and loyalty, they may truly serve the cause of justice and peace. To the honour of your holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Turning back to our service sheet, you might like to follow the prayers as we pray firstly for the departed. Lord, welcome into your calm and peaceful kingdom those who have departed out of this present life to be with you. Grant them rest and a place with the spirits of the just and give them the life that knows no age, the reward that passes not away. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We pray for those who suffer. God of our joys and sorrows, comfort the exiled, console the oppressed, and bring us in joy to our true home, where your faithful servants sing your praise. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We pray for our King, for the High Court of Parliament, for the Senate, and for our local councils. Go before us, O Lord, with the blessings of your goodness and guide all those who call to authority in the way of your justice, the knowledge of your liberty and the wisdom of your gentleness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. We pray for the faith by which we live. How generous is our goodness, your goodness, O God. How great is your salvation. How faithful is your love. Help us to trust in you in trial and to praise you in deliverance and to rejoice before you with overflowing hearts. We pray together now the prayer that Jesus has taught us. Pray with me, please. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this give us day, day our daily, daily bread, and forgive, forgive us our, our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. us. And lead us not, not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. evil. For thine, thine is the kingdom, 
the power and, and the, the glory, glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And we make together now our prayer of commitment. <clears throat> Pray with me as you are able. Lord God, our Father, we pledge ourselves to serve you and all your peoples in the cause of peace, for the relief of want and suffering, and for the praise of your name. Guide us by your Spirit. Give us wisdom, give us courage, give us hope, and keep us faithful now and always. Amen. Amen. So may God grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the Church, the King, the Commonwealth, and all people, unity, peace, and concord, and to us and all God's servants, life everlasting. Abendeth dew, atholiog, atard amab arasbridglan, avonik plith achadrigo, gadachi an wastad. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rest upon you all, upon those whom you love and those for whom you pray, this day and forevermore. Amen. Amen. And we bless each other in those words from the book of Numbers. <coughs> May the Lord bless us and watch over us. May the Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. May the Lord look kindly on us and give us his peace. Amen. Amen. Bless you. Thank you very much, everyone. Yeah, bless you too, Father. Thank <clears throat> you.